Some fiberglass doors trick the eye and fool visitors. Even on close scrutiny, they look like wood. It's an illusion made possible by technological wizardry at the factory. A wood grain fiberglass door starts with a real wood door. A computerized cutter carves various panels. An employee sands away any marks left by the cutter. He gently chafes the wood with a wire brush to expose the grain. He then assembles the panels of the door within a special fixture. Another member of the team scans the wood door with a laser to confirm its dimensional accuracy. With that confirmation, they're ready to use this wood door to make fiberglass ones. To demonstrate the next step, they use a smaller section of the door. The worker pours a special formulation of silicone onto the wood and leaves it to cure overnight. The silicone picks up all the definition of the wood grain, creating a mirror image copy of the door. Next, an employee injects a different formulation of silicone into a thin gap between the copy and a sheet of steel. This silicone copy is thinner for a better transfer of heat in the next process. They load the copy, still on the steel sheet, into a chemical deposition chamber. It heats the steel and the silicone, causing a nickel vapor to gravitate to it and form a shell. This shell has all the detail of the original wood door. A worker files sharp edges, and with a protective fiberglass cover on top, they lower the shell into a mold base. They remove the cover, and they're ready to use the nickel shell to mold fiberglass door veneers. There are many nickel molds in different door styles at this factory. All can be used endlessly to make new fiberglass doors. The fiberglass material now unwinds into a cutting station, and a worker slices it into uniform strips. A mix of resin and glass fragments, the fiberglass has dough-like consistency at this stage. He places a stack of the strips on the nickel door mold and lowers a hot press. Applying serious force, it squeezes and melts the fiberglass. It flows into the crevices of the mold. The fiberglass solidifies quickly. An employee removes it from the press and sands the ragged edges smooth. The next member of the team confirms that the width and thickness of the panel are on target. They stain every first run panel to expose the transferred wood grain. This is a test. If the grain is good, it means there are no defects in the mold. It's time to assemble the fiberglass door. Rollers apply glue to external framing wood. Handling the wood on the unglued sides, the team builds a frame around a fiberglass door skin, abutting the wood to plastic composite casing at the top and the bottom. They place a second fiberglass panel on the top. They feed the fiberglass door sandwich to rollers that squeeze it together. This activates the glue for a strong assembly. They stack the door and the glue continues to cure over 24 hours. After that, they load the hollow fiberglass doors into slots in an insulating press. The press closes to hold the doors in a tight configuration. A worker then pumps polyurethane insulating foam into the cores. When foam overflows through vent holes in the plastic casing, the cores are full. He caps the fill hole and runs a finger along the doors to remove the excess foam. Energy efficient and stable, fiberglass doors are a solid alternative to wood. And with the embossed wood grain, they're convincing knockoffs. <laughs>